Hello everybody, this is Matt from Nod Studios here, and welcome back. Today we're going to be continuing our playthrough here on Superpower 2 as Micronesia. In the previous episode, we tried to rectify our economic situation, you know, with our debt, our deficit, that whole slew of just... Ugh. Yeah, we were not too successful in doing that. If you take a look at the economic tab over here, our debt has actually grown, and while our balance quarterly has dropped a little bit... It still is in a horrible position, and I really want to get it fixed. So, how are we going to do that? Well, <laughs> I've got just the plan for you. If we go ahead and scroll out here, switch on the political control map mode, and look to our south, we'll notice that there are quite a few countries out there. We have Papua New Guinea, we got the Solomon Islands, we got Vunadu over here, we got Fiji, Samoa, a whole slew of Pacific Islander nations for us to attack, conquer, and annex. So my train of thought was we should go for the big bad Papua New Guinea first of all, because if we take a look at their info tab, we can see, wow, they have a lot of people, 5.3 million people. That is way more people than we have. We only have a little bit more than 100,000, so... That really makes a huge difference. Also, if we open up the economic tab, take a look at their economy. It's doing pretty dang well. <laughs> so, if we manage to go ahead and annex them, I think it'll go ahead and fix our budget. So, that's kind of where I'm trying to go for right now. Let's zoom back in on Micronesia, open up the military menu, go to the black markets, and I'm going to buy a few troops. Now, let's see, though. How many units does uh, Papua New Guinea have? 2,000 infantry soldiers and only four air units. Okay. I don't know what those four air units are going to be. Hopefully no attackers or anything like that. Anything crazy, you know, like airplanes. I don't, I don't want to go up against any of that. I don't think it is. I think it's probably most likely just, you know, transport helicopters. So I'm really not worried about that. Let's go ahead here. Buy a few units. I'm not going to buy too many, maybe like 30 or 40, just because we don't have a lot of money. And also, we don't just, you know, we don't need a lot of troops to invade Papua New Guinea because they really don't have a large defensive force. Now, let's see here. What do we want to do? We could go for these BMRs and the AMLs and then just get maybe the BMPs from Togo. Yeah, that'll work out. Let's go into our naval production menu after that. Go to the United States. Train up some frigates. Oh, no, wait, not frigates. Destroyers, my bad. Now, I'm going to look for the cheapest class we can get because the cheapest thing is going to be the best thing for us right now. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money unless we absolutely have to because, you know, it's just going to run up our debt. And we only need one destroyer to bombard a region and send troops over. Papua New Guinea doesn't have a navy, so we don't have to worry about them attacking our ships and destroying them. So we don't have to have any protection for the destroyer. Let's go ahead and get out of that menu. And they should be all finished with completing that in about 80 days. So I'll be back when that's all finished. Alright, the... Alright, so our destroyer should be all completed and finished up. Yep, there it is, the gearing class, <laughs> the glorious gearing class. We'll go ahead and deploy that off the coast of the capital, and we'll also deploy our units into the capital. Sweet. Now, the moment of truth. We need to request war with Papua New Guinea. No, not give them an embargo. We need to request war. Boom. Okay, things have gone smoothly so far. No one else joined in on the war, right? Oh, we should probably pause the game. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone else joined in on the war, so that is good. Let's go ahead and bombard them. Move the destroyers into place. They're... <laughs> I say destroyers. There's only one. All right. Hopefully when our troops get there, we shouldn't have too much of a... What? What the... What? What? I don't know if y'all heard that freaking race car zooming in the background, but geez, man, we've lost the elections. Democratic Party of Micronesia, 75% of the authority. They are in power. So why did I lose? This shouldn't be here. Like, I shouldn't have lost the game. 
we're in power, we won the election, we have the vast majority of the vote, so I don't know what the heck went on. Hmm, that's very odd. I'm gonna go back, switch ourselves over to a single party democracy, and then it should fix this problem. I don't know, it must just be, you know, like a bug or something, unfortunately. Alright, let's try that again, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the battle. Oh, wait, we should actually start the game before we do that, sorry. Let's go ahead and click on Papua New Guinea. And honestly, this should be a slaughter. I know it says it's like, you know, a halfway battle, but it's really not. We're just gonna do a full assault, actually. Pew, 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 pew! We took out some of the transport helicopters there. Nice. Got the last one down. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a showdown. 39 infantry vehicles versus 2,078 infantry. Who is going to win? 1844 infantry. 1408 infantry. 12, 12. The numbers just keep dropping, guys. This is insane. Oh, the, oh, I can feel it. It's as if I'm in the battlefield in the jungles in swamps of Papua New Guinea right now. I can just smell the air, the napalm. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, whoa, oh, oh, hey, hey, we won. Oh, we lost two ground troops, though. That's a little disappointing. You guys could have done better. Let's go ahead and occupy Papua New Guinea and annex them. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Merge the troops back together, and then I'm going to look at the uh, diplomatic relations map mode. Ooh, okay, yeah, the world absolutely hated that action. And six months have passed, and we've managed to fully annex the country. It's now 2007 as well, so we've rolled over to a new year. Let's go ahead and re-examine the budget. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. This was not what I was expecting. This budget is all out of whack. Wait, this can't be right, can it? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's a lot better. I was about to say, geez, the numbers you had there are freaking bureaucrats slacking off. Don't have their reports ready in time. <sighs> Handing in work late. Oh my god. Little rats. Okay, so we're actually, we're in a really huge surplus now. Oh wow, this is awesome, dude. We can lower the tax rate down to like, what, 50%? Yeah, let's do that. We'll drop it by 30% all in one go. And we still have a ton of money. Can we go down to maybe, um, like 40%? Yeah, that'll work. Sweet, so we'll keep it at 40%. I always like to have that as low as possible. We do need to do some reworking with our whole expenditure, though. So, I'm gonna put it on pause... Let's open the research menu. Do we have any research whatsoever? None at all. Yeah, zip. Nada. Let's go ahead and put a bunch of money into research. Not too much. I don't want to, you know, make myself go broke. But we want to put a decent amount into it. We can raise the education expenditure. And the environmental expenditure. Then start the game. Or hit the check button. Could do a little bit of foreign aid too, just to help out the relation situation and our, you know, international majugalies. Oh yeah, we should probably start the game, right? <laughs> there we go. Tier four speed. Wow, time just keeps going and we just keep getting more money. I love it. You know, we could probably even lower some of the sector taxes too, because we don't have a huge deficit now. Now that we're making so much money. So I'm just going to go ahead and lower the health and care tax rate down to 10%. Let's see where that puts us. I mean, it is a huge portion of our GDP, so we might lose a little bit of money. All right. I'm not seeing too much of a change. All right. I guess we'll get... Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> it took it a second there. Just a little bit. Next, I'll lower the uh, engineering tax down to 10% too. And that should be good. I'm going to leave that where it is right now. I don't think we can afford to lower any of the other tax rates. And honestly, all in all, our tax rates are pretty dang low. I mean, except for the finished goods category, everything else is actually pretty low. 
13.5%. Ooh, that's pretty high. Precious stones, but... Hmm. Like, yeah, okay. Maybe it's a little bit high for the energy tab, too. Could we cut it, maybe? Hmm... Let's cut it down to 12% for each in the energy tab. And I think that'll be good. Yeah, I don't want to, like, you know, not have enough money to pay for anything. Because we still have to build a military, too. We have a freaking dinky military. Alright, I, I think that's good for right now. Now, let's take a look at the Solomon Islands, because I do want to go for them next. How many people do they have? 535,000. Okay, that's pretty decent. I thought they would have had a little bit less, but that's not bad. It's pretty good. Hmm. What about Fiji? How many people they got? 892,000. Okay. However, their land is a lot more valuable. I actually, I really want to take over Fiji. I'm just worried, like... <clears throat> Fiji is such, like, a prized country, you know? Like, the world doesn't hate them. They don't ever do anything. They just kind of sit there out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and do their little freaking reefs and the Mr. Krabs and the boom, boom, doo, 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 doo. you know, all that music crap, all right, with the Honolulu's and... Uh... Yeah, so I'm definitely not going to attack Fiji. That's a huge, huge mistake. I feel like if we do that, especially with the way our relations are right now, we are going to get ourselves involved into a world war. Okay, guys, so here we are. I just decided to go ahead and wait until 2010 to make my next decision. So what I want to go ahead and tackle right now is our military. At the current moment, our military is pretty abysmal in terms of its size. It's really small. We only have, what, 37 ground units in one naval unit. It's really bad. So I want to get that into working order. So let's open up the military tab. Open up the research tab. And what I'm going to do is set the financing for the naval and ground units basically equal to each other. I'm going to try and get them as equal to one another as I can. And that looks pretty good. And we can leave the air financing low. If we need any air units, we can buy them off the black market. No problem. That's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and confirm that appointment. And I want to open up the budget tab once again. We can put a little bit more money into research. And put some more money into environmental spending as well. Sweet. That looks pretty good right there. And then what I would like to go ahead and do is go into the buy menu here. And I just want to check out some various units to go ahead and purchase. I think I'm just going to stick with very cheap infantry units for right now. So I'm just going to go ahead, pick a few at random, buy them up. And let's see where that puts us with our budget. Alright, so it put us into a little bit of a deficit, but we still have a little bit more to go. We could switch over to tanks and get a little bit of variation in our ranks too, so that way, you know, we're not all stacked into one area. Oh, we should get some air defense units too. Let's get a bunch of those. We're definitely going to be needing them, especially if we get attacked by any nations that have air units. Right, that should be good. We'll get a few mobile launchers, and then we'll see where we're at. Hmm. Negative four million. It's a little bad, but it's okay. It's okay, don't worry. All right, that should be fine right there. The next area I want to visit is naval units. I want to buy up all the corvettes on the market. And all of the frigates, too. Oh, we're going to need to raise the tax rate back up, too. I'm going to put it at 70%, and then we can adjust the budget to our liking if we, you know, need a little bit more money freed up. Oh, no. What's happening? Ah! It, like, froze. <laughs> that was weird. All right, and that's all the frigates. Ooh, some attack submarines. Hmm. Hmm. Those might be a bit too expensive. Maybe we could get the single Kylo class SS? Kylo. Kilo. <laughs> Why did I say Kylo? <laughs> Let's go ahead and buy it. Uh, negative six million. Okay, we could, we could push it a little bit more. Come on. What do we want to get? Maybe some patrol craft? 
Yeah, why not? Let's buy them up. They're pretty cheap. We'll buy the 51 Chong Jins. And I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Sweet. So that leaves us with a little bit of a deficit to pay off, but I'm really not worried at that at the moment. Um, we're going to have to lower our research spending again. And lower education a little bit. We can reuse textbooks a little bit more, you know, stuff like that. We need tanks, okay? Your books, your education is not as important as my blowing people's heads off is. Ah, oh, we're still running a deficit. I'm gonna cut foreign aid. Ah, oh, we're still running a deficit. I'm gonna have to cut research a little bit more and raise the tax rate, maybe. Yeah, let's go up to 75% with the tax rate. Oh no, it's going to have negative effects on our approval. That's okay. All right, that puts us in a decent position for right now. I'm okay with that. Oh, we should stop bombarding ourselves too. <laughs> That's not good. Now let's see, what nation should we go for next? We could go for the Solomon Islands. But I really need a lot of money. I need to take some territory that's going to give me economic gain. Yeah, let's wait another two years and then we'll decide. And we are back. Welcome to 2013, everybody. I know I did go a little bit over the two-year mark. My apologies. I just wanted to make sure that our relations were going to be stable enough in order to go to war with Fiji. Which they should be. I mean, I'm not really too worried at the moment. I mean, this should be okay. But we'll see. What the heck? Fiji doesn't have any alliances, at least not militarily. So, we should be alright. Let's go ahead and declare war. Alrighty. Did someone else join? Yeah, it looks like one small nation over here joined. Who is that? Oh. <laughs> it's Kiribati, but it looks like Turkey joined the, the war. That's weird. Oh, no, they're going to attack my navy. Okay, let's deploy the rest of our navy then. I don't think their navy can beat what I have fully deployed. And then we'll get the rest of our ground units out there. Actually, we'll hold off on the ground units because they do cost more deployed than they do in the reserves. So we'll see where that puts us. Diplomatic relations look somewhat stable. Okay, and how's that battle going? All right, it's pretty even, Steven. Oh, we don't have... Oh, no, we do. Okay. I was looking... I thought those were the frigates. I thought we only had two frigates. I was like, where did my frigates go? We're all good. I just looked at it the wrong way. We are victorious, comrades. Let's go ahead and send the Navy over to Fiji right now. We'll go ahead and bombard them. Oh, no. Did that not work? What's going on? Hello. There we go. Maybe I had to move them a little bit. Let's try rebombarding them. Oh, no. I know what happened. They destroyed my destroyer. <laughs> That's a little ironic. Let's go back into the United States and let's create another gearing class. This time I'm going to... Uh, we'll do three, okay? And then we'll only deploy one when it's done. Can we do that? Wait, hold on. Let me, let me re... Oh, no. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. All right. I, I think I can stop it in time, so I'll only be able to deploy one. All right. So, I've deployed one of the destroyers right here. If we view the unit list, you'll be able to see one destroyer of the gearing class. Let's go ahead and merge them with the main army. And send them over to Fiji. Now, I'm pretty sure Fiji is only a one-region country. So we should just have to annex this one territory. Oh, how many units do they have, though? Are those all infantry? Yeah, it is. Okay. We're good. Nothing to be worried about. Oh, they don't have the air units deployed, though. Or maybe they do. They have one deployed. It's only a transport helicopter. Alright, that's fine. 
The Battle of Fiji has closed out. We only lost two ground units. Nice. And let's go ahead and annex them. Now I... Oh, 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 oh. Hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. Oh, boy. Um, okay, let's fix that real quick. We're going to max out foreign aid spending. Ooh. Yeah, that is not a pretty sight. Negative 70. Hopefully that'll be enough <laughs> friendliness for us to not get ganked in a huge gang war. Good news, comrades. We have annexed Fiji and also everyone that we were at war with. Oh, hello. What the heck? Japan? Why? Okay, comrades. So we have some good news and some very bad news. On the good side of things, we completely annexed Fiji and also everyone in that war. Okay, comrades, so we have a little bit of good news and also some bad news. As you can see, there are some lines drawn into Fiji right now that I'm not too happy about. We did manage to annex Fiji, and everyone that was in that war, that particular war, dropped out. However, we are now in a war against Japan and Palestine. I don't know how the heck we got involved into this. You know, Palestine, they just went all guns blazing, decided to declare war on us, and now we're in this mess with Japan. However, I'm hoping that navally we can just defend them and, you know, you know, defend our territory navally, and then we won't have to worry about the ground units and all of the ground attacks. Anyways, though, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, Please leave a like, please comment, and please, please, please subscribe. It really helps out, and it really does mean a lot. So once again, thank you all so, so much, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.